Hello, I'm Brian Warren. We're here today at Meridian Community College at the Gene Haas Advanced Manufacturing Center. Each month we're partnering up with Practical Machinists to bring you educational content. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and leave us a comment of anything you'd like to see in the future. Today we have program freshman Connor Brazil. He's going to work on his NIMS bench work part. He's going to lay it out, do the basic shape. We grabbed a piece of stock from the scrap bin. It's really oversized. But that's no problem with layout because we're going we're gonna to get it just like we need it to be. So Connor, let's start by looking at your overall dimensions of your block. Okay. It's two inch wide, three inch long, but we're orientated this way. So we want to scribe our two inch across first. Okay. So grab your two inch gauge block and set your height gauge to two. You want to unlock your thumb screws and when you set your height gauge down on the block, you want it to be lightly set. You do not want to put a lot of pressure on it because if you do, you're, you're going to be inaccurate with it. It's, the gauge block should not, the, the height gauge should not lift off the table when you set it. Okay, so put your block back in the case and go ahead and scribe your two inch line. Good deal. Now we want to turn our print as we're looking at it like this and turn your block in the same rotation. Now your, your total length of this part is going to be three inches long, so you want to take a three inch gauge block and set your length. And I would just start just a little past that line and go across okay. so you know where your part is. Okay, so ultimately when you're done, we're going to saw cut this material off, save it for another day. We'll mill this part off and you'll have a two by three. So okay. while we're turning this orientation, let's go ahead and set our vertical intersect. So we're looking at three quarter inch and a half and two and a quarter. So we're gonna scribe three lines and I would start just a little pass and go each one so you don't get confused. So but something important when you're first starting to use gauge blocks in the layout is to make sure you have a pair of calipers or something ha handy that you can check the orientation of your gauge block to make sure you have it turned the right direction until you're more accustomed to using it. Okay, so your next line is inch and a half. So with the inch and a half, you have two blocks you need to use. Now this is where we're going to ring our gauge blocks together. Now this is an economy grade set just for training, but they, they still will ring. And because these are ground so flat, if you put a little pressure and slide them together, it displaces all the air between them. And it, you get a really accurate stack as best you can for the grade of your gauge block. Okay, it'll be a little easier for you. Inch and a half line for the second intersect. All right, so our last one, look on your print, it's 2.25, which is two and a quarter. So you're gonna wanna get your two inch, and you're wanna, gonna get your quarter inch, and you're gonna wanna try to ring those together so they stack. Make sure you got it turned right. There's your quarter side there. I want to see if he's going to catch it. Got 
Okay. Set your height. Now I'm noticing there's a line here. Okay. Actually, what is this? I think it's just a part. Yeah, it's so a... that could get you confused a little later yeah. on. So you want to take some blue dye and blank that out when you're done. Okay. All right, so we're going to turn this orientation. We're also going to turn our print. So now looking at it, we have half inch, one inch, inch and a half. So we're, we're setting this direction. So your first one is half inch. So you want to intersect this first line at a half inch. Okay, your second line is intersects at one inch. So you want to set one inch, make sure it's turned right. Too much or back off and reset you don't you you put too much pressure it is going to give you an inaccurate layout okay so you want to intersect your second line and just hold on to that one inch because you're going to need it again all right okay so your last intersect is at one and a half inch, so you want to ring these two together. Okay, intersect your third line. Yeah. All, right. All right, so now I can give you a little bit of advice here because that, that fourth intersect is going to end up biting you yeah. <laughs> when you get to the machine. So I would go ahead and I would take that and just kind of blur it out so you know not to center drill anything there. All right, well, we hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Leave us a comment, and we'll see you next time.